the band's called Sonic Art. And what's so crazy is, exactly 35 years to the week from when I played my first open mic on the folk scene in the West Village in 1981. I'm playing my first gig on the anti-folk scene here at the sidewalk. Thanks to Andy for that. Just kind of happened that way. It's cool. So, um, I'm going to do a new song to start, and uh, then we're going to play some songs from way back, the very beginning. I'm like the antique, as John Berger said, the antique, anti-folky. Here, that's, I've been, uh, actually was booking Latch before he was booking everybody else here. That's how far I go back. Uh, we're a bunch of songwriters in like 1982, 83, playing in the West Village, and these folk clubs were like churches, you know, everybody played real quiet, did all this mellow music, and we were like, you know, influenced by punk, new wave, psychedelic rock, we didn't fit in with them. So a bunch of us, especially Latch, came over here and created this scene here. And I was there at the beginning, so I'm going to do a few songs from that time. But I'm going to do this new song first. And I haven't eaten in a, quite a few hours, so I keep trying to like not eat, you know, so I could lose some weight. And also so I can like, you know, hallucinate. Well, you know, the problem is I'm diabetic. So after a while, I have to eat. So, you know, I don't really hallucinate. That's the problem. I mean, that's not really a problem. It's probably a good thing. So the, the next best thing I can do is write trippy songs. Are you guys ready? Are we ready? Okay. Roger Blanc. On lead guitar, Billy Eric on the bass, Lindahl Descant, vocals and piano tonight, with Sonic Art. This is a song about the band. Thank you. 
Okay, fortunately we got a bunch of older people here, because a lot of the real younger people I don't think are going to understand the humor, because a lot of younger people don't know who Bob Dylan was, or is, he's still here, he's still alive, uh, is, uh, you know, some woman arrested him on the street, and she was, she's like some 21 year old woman, and she didn't know who he was, he's wandering around, you know, he's in Jersey, so he figures that would happen in Jersey. So, in 1981, I started out on the scene, and in 1983, I got kicked out of Folk City for a couple months for basically being too rowdy. And they were kicking out other people too, like Kirk Kelly, who played here a lot, who was just giving out flyers for East Village Show. So, and, uh, people in there, it's like a library. Everybody's real quiet, they're playing the folk music, you know. I said, you know, Dylan, if he were to come in here now, he would be like too radical for Folk City now. Cause he got really mellowed out, you know? And he gave me this idea for this song, which uh, kind of made me infamous on the folk scene back then. And it is one of the first anti-folk songs from 1983. <laughs> so, uh, wow. I don't know if this is going to work out here, but we'll try it. Okay, so, uh, so Dylan, you know, the idea was, he's done pretty much every type of music, but not this type of music. So I kind of spoofed Dylan, you know, and then about a, a year later we played this Dylan imitator contest. Everybody else was doing Dylan covers except me. I was doing this crazy shit with a crazy band backing me up. And Dylan sent a film crew down. And he taped it and like a year later he put out this tune to tight connection to my heart. And he's dancing with all these black chicks behind him. And I'm like, I think I influenced Dylan.
So, take it down a notch here to a song I co-wrote with a guy who used to play in here, uh, Billy Nova, played in here quite a while ago, but uh, John was telling me that, uh, what, seven years ago he played a gig here, John, uh, Billy Nova. Yeah, so he's uh, kind of retired from music. And the hook is really, um, trying to catch my breath here a little bit. <laughs> the hook is really um, uh, my part, the chorus. It's really his song mostly. It's called Strange Angels. And uh, this one goes back to 1983. And it goes like this. <laughs>
All right, thank you. Okay, back to the hardcore anti-folk from 1984. Okay, another of those first anti-folk songs uh, from, I don't know, the golden age of anti-folk? I don't know, the bronze age of anti-folk? Uh, whatever. So, I wrote this song, it's kind of trying to write about the dark side of sex. You know, like loveless sex, or like S&M, you know, or whatever. And, um, then around the time I wrote the song, the AIDS crisis started to happen, and I guess the song took on another meaning, but that wasn't what I was writing about. But the song is called Sex Kills. Okay. Can you fit? Um, 
Maybe we'll just do one then, I guess. <laughs> okay. I, I, hate to, I hate to be the bear of that. No, that's cool. I knew that one song was long. So. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys listen to Mike McHugh and the Sound of Gods. Uh, they're gonna do one more song there in their next song, come around the bat, the man will take for them. Here's the sidewalk, we don't charge the cover. Pastor Drew Ralph Yards is how to get paid. It's a five dollars just a donation. Please get some money ready, put your hands together one more time for Mike McHugh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great job on the sound. Uh, we're gonna be doing a whole series of shows for the 35th anniversary of my time on the music scene. I'm like the world's oldest anti folky here. Uh, maybe the second oldest, right? Okay, so. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta dye my hair, man, I'm telling you. Then I'll be like the fourth oldest. So, uh, um, we're gonna be doing the map room on uh, the 19th of, uh, in the Bowery Electric, and uh, 19th of March, and uh, also March 2nd, be the bitter end, uh, doing a live album recording on April 12th also. So, here's a song from um, the turn of the century. And I, I wrote a song about um, the turn of the new century. I wrote a song about genetic cloning and uh, has a little twist to it because I figure whoever's like the first clone guy, that's got to be some really fucked up guy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the song's about. You'll see. Thank you, Sidewalk. The anti book Fest.
Stop happening with the Alan Merrill birthday party later. Stick around.